now so you're going to get some good cocktails so just get ready for them young do hi everyone uh, my name is young do lama and uh, i'm a professional bartender uh, spent about 20 years behind bars making cocktails so uh, working very closely with uh, the liquor industry uh, it gives me immense pleasure to be here today with you guys live and give you a little bit of a insight about the basics of cocktail making as well as show probably one of the classic cocktails that everybody would have probably heard of but may not have tried your hand in drink uh, you know when it comes to cocktail making i think uh, it's purely got to do with uh, what you would actually like to have in your drink uh, it's not about what the bartender always suggests uh, of course we do have the guidelines we do have the classics which uh, the all all across the globe we stick to the standards but uh, most of the time uh, when we make cocktails it's purely on uh, the consumer preference it's not on what we would like to give to the consumer uh, so you know every time i talk about cocktails i don't really say this is how it should be made or this is how you need to do things uh, i just give the basic tips in terms of things like choosing the right glassware uh, making sure that your quality and the type of alcohol is correct uh, also in terms of the quality of ice uh, and uh, not so much in terms of the process until unless you want to be a pro uh, but i think just mixing it in a simple manner or even stirring the drink is good enough to make uh, amateur cocktails or you know cocktails that you like to make at home uh, apart from that uh, what is very important when it comes to cocktail making is uh your ideas from different sources uh when i say different sources it could be sources uh, sorry ingredients from the kitchen it could be ingredients from the bakery it could be ingredients from just whatever you see around you it could be from the vegetable market it could be from the or from jams and marmalades to anything that is chocolates uh, you know candies all of it Uh, so so we have some people going crazy about you as as we said cocktails so they have a lot of questions and they just want to jump on the alcohol we have somebody from brazil uh some utkarsh is there he's like asking about cocktails so everybody wants to <laughs> just get the hold of a drink would you like to yeah. so they have asked a question uh, he asked uh, uh, also where can i buy a cocktail mixer cocktail mixer yeah which i think it's cocktail it's a shaker, shaker. Yeah, yeah. yeah i guess he's got it uh, i think the easiest way to buy a cocktail shaker is to just go online and order it uh, online these days uh, almost uh, there are at least 10 to 12 sites which can give you cocktail shaker uh, so which can deliver cocktail shaker uh, shakers at the doorstep the only thing is which one do you need which one to choose from which one Because, do you prefer you know as i'm a professional bottom this for as far as i'm concerned i use a cocktail shaker like this uh, this is a a boston cocktail shaker but this could be a little difficult to use at home uh, i think for home what i suggest is uh, okay and i think it's a much more easier uh, cocktail shaker it's a three piece cocktail shaker that we we okay. have which we don't use it too yeah. often we only use it at times uh, so we're getting a cocktail we another question any yeah. new cocktails your own ideas uh there's this another person what are the cocktails that he can prepare at home so i guess we can answer that and do do you have any indian cocktails like so i guess any indian cocktails like yeah, yeah. Uh, you know india is rich when it comes to flavors and i mentioned earlier that you know you can be as experimental as possible so it's only about getting the basics right so you know getting the amount of alcohol that needs to go in a cocktail ideally it should be 60 ml uh, when we say 60 ml in india it's 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 a double shot so it's actually a large uh, that's a good enough uh, you know alcohol in a cocktail now based on the 60 ml you could actually make a very strong drink like a straight up cocktail or you could also use a lot of ice and make a slightly uh, easier easier drink uh, coming back to the cocktail shaker this is a three piece cocktail shaker uh, i'll just focus on the camera yeah. for especially for utkar so yeah so you could use uh, a or uh, buy a cocktail shaker like this uh, it could come in different sizes uh, for home usage i think this is a easy very friendly cocktail shaker because it has a inbuilt strainer 
and all that you do is put all the ingredients there, the ice there and close it, shake the drink, just open the top cap and strain it out. If you need to uh, pour the drink without ice, if you need to do it with ice, then just open the middle cap and pour it. So this is a, a three piece coffee chicken and it's great for home usage. And uh, you know every time you go into an online website, you could get one of these things. So uh, Utkarsh is asking another, like they ask you uh, one of the Indian cocktails, like any mm. specific name that we oh, yeah. can come over here and ask that, okay, we want so, this one. Tamarind martinis, Pansapari martinis, uh, mango pepper mojito, curry leaf mojito, so you can actually go crazy. Okay. Uh, and and uh, they're asking uh, which one is your favorite cocktail to make? As My favorite cocktail to make, uh, I love making a classic martini. Classic martini. So, um, can we show a small demo? So, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just give you a simple demo of how I do a classic martini at, uh, at my bar. And just the reason why I like to make a classic martini is because uh, it's not very... Everybody knows about the martini, but very few customers or very few people across the globe actually love to make a classic martini or love to drink a classic martini. Uh, and whosoever does it uh, knows exactly what he or she expects out of the drink. So we as bartenders do not take shortcuts. Okay. So I'll just uh, demo a simple classic martini. So uh, yeah guys, we're making a cocktail. Uh, he's going that. Any Indian version names like uh, like any names like we call it Hindi words yeah. in the cocktail? You so can, uh, you know, I, I've written a cocktail book about two years ago and uh, it's a cocktail book which has about 50 recipes out of which 25 are the international classics and the balance 25 are my own Indian version of cocktails. So we've got things like uh, you know, uh, Jame Elaichi, which is a cocktail which is made out of, uh, you know, cardamom. So, stuff like that. So, so you can check out his book and uh, you can get a lot of ideas over there. So, we'll come back to Prakha. Like, yes, we are making a cocktail. So, we're going to come back to the cocktail part. Sure. So, I'm going to be making a classic martini. So... When we do a classic martini, the first and the foremost thing is to make sure that we have a martini glass uh, or a cocktail glass, which is nice and cold. Uh, since this is not chilled as yet, so I'm just going to do manual, manual chilling of the glass. So I put some ice in there and... Shyans, we'll get back to your question. We're making a cocktail so you can enjoy this. And then so we'll get the back glass. to you. Yeah. So and leave it aside. Uh, the second important thing is you take a mixing glass and fill it up with ice. Because it's a classic and I said not too many people like a classic martini but uh, anybody who orders a classic martini knows exactly what he or she wants out of the drink. So the first step that we usually do when we make a classic martini is wash the ice. What does it do? It actually helps to give the shine to the drink, the final finish, right? It's more yeah. about polishing the cocktail. So we do it right in the beginning. And uh, since this is a classic martini, so I'm going to use gin. So I want to take about 55 ml of gin. So take about 55 ml of gin. And to this, we add about 5 ml of dry bubble. The dry bomo is something like this. Uh, this is a brand name called the Martini. It's not a cocktail. It's actually a fortified wine. So it has some flavor and slightly higher in terms of alcohol percentage as compared to normal. So we take about 5 ml. Uh, what exactly is a fortified wine? It's uh, aromatized wine. So it has a little bit more flavor. Uh, so it adds a little bit flavor to the drink. Classic martini only has two ingredients, so there's gin and there's dry warmer. And the next important thing to do with this drink is to stir it for a long time. So I'm just going to stir the drink, give it a nice good stir. So stir the drink for a long time. Uh, what it does is it makes the cocktail nice and cold, it dilutes the alcohol a little bit, makes it slightly mellow on the palate so it's much more easier to sip the cocktail otherwise this is a very strong cocktail <laughs> probably the strongest when it comes to cocktails 
even stronger than the long and Oh. And that's a good stir, so... So, he's asking how long do we generally stir it? Uh, there isn't a specific time. Yeah. There isn't a specific rule to stir yeah. the drink. But uh, we stir it for at least about 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, but the idea is to use lots of ice. Yeah. What it does is it helps in slowing the dilution. Yeah. You know, so it, and then not making the drink too watery. Uh, but at the same time making the drink extremely cold. Now what I'm going to do is, I've just emptied the glass, yep. so it's nice and chilled, frosted, and then strain the drink into a martini glass. So if you notice, this drink is crystal clear. It's like drinking spring water. So, so I will just, come to your questions again. Just alcoholic wait. in nature. And then in order to finish the drink, we drop an olive. So there are many questions to, uh, do we use one olive, do we use three olives uh, or two olives? Yeah. The answer to this is we can use either one okay. or three. I love to just drop an olive into the drink uh, and, the, and the drink is done. Awesome. We could also twist the line, uh, release some oils press it against the rim but for now this is good so, so this is a classic gin martini awesome so some of them have a question like uh, what's the difference uh, between shaking and stirring uh, of a drink like uh, and uh, what makes them so expensive when you serve them like that's one of the biggest questions people yeah and yeah and why do people prefer shaken ones uh, I think the reason why people all for a shaken cocktail is just purely because they've been uh, seriously influenced by James Bond. Okay. Uh, the best <laughs> martini is enjoyed stirred. We don't okay. really shake a martini professionally. If I ever wanted to go to a bar and feel like having a martini, I would prefer to have a stirred martini rather than a shaken martini. Yeah. Uh, because when we when we have a uh, when we drink a stirred martini, it can, keeps the flavors of the gin, the medicinal notes and the, the spices the uh, the herbs of the gin alive as well as uh, the hint of the vermouth all alive in the drink uh, awesome. it makes it it's strong but it's nice and uh, beautiful so you need to develop a palate for the martini when it comes to shaking a martini what do you do uh, the first thing is if you notice this thing here if you look at the drink and look at the ice this drink is crystal clear if i had shaken this martini you would have seen ice flakes all around it what does that mean i would have broken the ice True. When I break the ice, I dilute the drink. True. And what it also does is it brings, makes the drink slightly diluted, watery, and it will also bruise the flavors, the sensitive flavors of the dry bomb. So this is a cocktail which needs to be, you know, uh, you know, where, where the consumer or anybody who likes to drink a martini needs to develop a palate for it. Not, not for everyone. The, the shaken is purely because of the James Bond influence. So, um, awesome. So I guess uh, that's it for today. Uh, He'll be back with more uh, things coming up. We are not taking any more questions because people have to leave and uh, we want to leave you with some more cooked cocktails. Yeah. And if you get a chance to come to his class, he makes amazing cocktails. And this is it for today. Uh, stay tuned for more updates and he'll be live with you very soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye -bye. Cheers.